Do you ever like get up one morning in the house and you're looking for like a pen? Like you're really like you've turned your room upside down or your house upside down looking for a pen. Something you have on a regular day, you find out that you don't just have it that morning. Or you can't find it like it has wrapped somewhere in your bag. That's that's been like me that this morning fam. So like if I look really tired and stressed, that's why I was looking for a pen. Yes, intros I had to make, so sometimes I'll just tell you all about my money. So, <laughs> not my money, my morning. <laughs> so, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shiga, back at you with another video for you guys. Um, today's on, open <coughs> on popular opinion series. Yes, the beginning of a popular opinion series. Things that people don't really care to hear about, like things I don't have to be saying, but I'm saying them anyway. And you're already yeah, watching, so just just watch, just watch to the end. Like there's nothing, there's nothing that is hurting you. Just watch it to the end. And like like excuse me, subscribe please. If you've not subscribed, like do you know the struggles I'm going through? <laughs> subscribe. I'm trying to entertain you. Like this video, share share. I have people on my contact list. If you watch this video and just put on your WhatsApp status and say very interesting, what do you, do you know what that will do to my channel? Share subscribe thank you so let's just get right into this video so guys um making this video just made me realize that i'm, I'm not as special as i think i am like i thought i had like so many things i've never done well, the last few years I've been doing a lot of stuff, so well, yeah. So, me, I was also thinking I'm the epitome of uniqueness, but basically, like, I'm not, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm normal. So, yes, let's, let, let me tell you the things I have never done, or uh, I probably will never do, you know. So, some of these things I may like do in the future, but sorry, I have a cold, so my breath is very heavy. But we're doing this for YouTube, okay? So yes. So yes. Number one is I have never eaten raw tomato. Like, okay, I've probably I probably ate the day I realized that I don't want to eat it, and then I probably like bite, and then I'm like, oh, there's raw tomato in this thing. But I don't eat raw tomatoes. So like, Tim kachumbari. Kachumbari is like a sauce that uh, it's not. It's not like a sauce. Yeah, it's a sauce. It's kind of thing that people eat with dry stuff in Nairobi or in West in East Africa I think so it's usually made up of like raw tomatoes and then other spices they just mix it together they eat it with like egg or uh, fries sausage they eat so many things so I, I, I don't eat kachumbari fan like I don't eat raw tomato I don't know why but then the irony is my best meals have tomato in it like 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 jollof rice fried rice that's fried rice yes fried rice um rice and tomato stew is my best sauce like like if i cook without tomato it doesn't make sense but raw tomato i i will never eat i will never eat like if so i'm the type who because i eat hamburger every day all day any day sandwich so i will take it open it and remove the tomato like half I have had it put on, but I'm not the one who applied. So, so I have never applied a full face of makeup by myself. <sighs> and I had it on just once. So it was just like the other day, like 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 three weeks ago. Like it was not long ago. So, your girl needs to change, fam. But like, yeah, I've never applied a full face of makeup. I don't know what I'm waiting for. All my like half of my classmates that we graduated from secondary school half of them are like makeup artists, professional. The other half, at least, they can they can do something for themselves. But but me. <laughs> he is I have I don't I do not cross my leg when I'm praying now hopefully I'll insert a picture there here yeah, anyway, about what I mean like if I'm praying and then my leg is in that position I mean I will, like you know the way you sit and they put your leg like this yes if I'm praying and then my leg is I'm like this and we start praying I must do this oh I'll do this I'm sure you understand what I mean this like the the new age part but i'll show you a photo probably so i will like i must undo it there's just no way it's probably superstitious very i'm sure but i just feel like oh my god this is like so much disrespect to god so 
I, I, I don't pray with my legs like this. Like I was, I have to do that. Yes, directly when people fall down. Now, if you went to boarding school with me, you'd be like, that, that's a lie, sugar. Sh then do we know? But that was because I used to do that because that's what should have happened. Like at that time, that was just the vibe. Like we'll just laugh at you for laughter's sake. It's not even because your fault is hilarious. So and sometimes I do giggle though. Like that some 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 people just fall down. It's very funny. But like I find it so sad. Like to laugh hysterically when someone has fallen. Like I I think I've probably got too mature. But even even before even right from when I was very young, to me it was never funny. Like why why am I laughing at you when you fall? I've never understood why. So I don't laugh when people fall down. I love avocado. I really love avocado. And I love fruits. But I do love avocado in my fruits. I know avocado is a fruit. It's a, it's a fruit, yeah? Yeah. But like, I will not eat avocado in my fruit. If I, I don't really like seeing people handle avocado. That's why it's interesting. I want to be the one to slice the avocado. When I see you touch it, I just... I, I feel nausea. So even seeing people eat avocado around me just annoys me. But I love avocado. And but I don't eat it with fruit or even avocado juice or you know the way people make like cocktails with avocado in it. I will not. I eat avocado separately and whatever I'm eating. Like I can eat like my pom pom melon, banana, pineapple together. But my avocado will be separately. I don't eat them all. But people do that. Hey. I just I've never tried it. So I've never read a book thicker than this. I've never read a book thicker than this, guys. I need help. And and this is probably like my thickest book. Yeah, I've never read a book thicker than this. I need to change. So now what's interesting is how how do you cope with university life? Like like how are your books? I will select what I need to select for the material. Not not for the material. I'll select what I need to select for. For what? I'll select the material I need. Yes, for the work I have to do. I will screen through it, check the chapters. But like for me to take time and read a whole book like that, that's actually one of my goals. A book bigger than that, because that one I've read it all. But a book bigger than that, I've, it just scares me. So. Clearly, I've not read the Bible all of it. Yes, I just said that here. But for some reason, I've, I've never read a book together than that. I'll try. Just on one of my, that's like on my bucket list. I will read many. I mean, even dictionary. Because I have never, ever gone camping. I've never gone camping, you guys. Unless I don't remember. I don't remember actually ever going camping. So, I have no idea what it is being in the woods or... Even just normal youth camps, like, yeah, let's go somewhere different with... I've never gone any sort of camping. I don't know if I've missed one part of my life. And for some reason, I'm never eager to go camping. It's always like... And I love going to places, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm that girl who wants to go, yes, let's go, let's go. But I have never gone camping. I hope my friends are here nine hours it's weird if, if i even nine hours straight by the way i'm not sure like i've never slept more than nine hours straight that's what i mean i'm the type who after every four hours i'll be getting up i don't know what that is and i think it's boarding school like that but after every four hours i'll be getting up i've never slept nine hours more than nine hours straight even nine hours i'm not sure i've ever succeeded because Yes, I'll, I'll just get up. I'll get up and then get up for like 30 minutes and I can't do anything. If my phone is not around, I'll just be looking at places until I sleep off. I probably cannot do anything. I'm very tired, no matter how tired I am. But but I have never slept more than 9. I'm not really sure I've slept up to 9 hours straight. I'm very not sure. So, I've never killed a chicken. I, I've never killed a chicken. In fact, I've never killed any animal. I've never killed a chicken. I've never harvested grasshoppers I have never all those things uh, fished I've never fished before yeah I've never yeah so I've, I've never especially killing the chicken I've never killed a chicken like and I'm not sure if I want to do that I'm not sure if I will do that because my mother told me a story 
how she cut the chicken's head and then the chicken ran so they run the, the chicken was running with the head it's just a horror story man but yes wait wait no i have to go back there so you know the way you you cut the head of the chicken yeah and then it doesn't cut fully so it's like hanging and then you think it's dead then it starts to shake and then he gets up and he's running with a dead head no farm where all these other parts are cut is just this flesh here and it ran into the bush so no i'm not relieving that story i've never cut a chicken I'm, I'm not sure i'm ready to do it and the last one and i'm very sure we can all relate on this one that's why it's, i realized i'm not special because putting up this list was so hard i was like sugar you've done a lot of things you, you have done so much i think i should i should actually make a video of things that i have done or that i do that people don't do yeah that, that that would be easier for me so the last one is i have never i am i have never been perfect like like if you've been perfect you're lying it's a lie i have never been perfect mm. but i've been really good I, I, i've been really good i've been very good so good but i'm here my farm I have, i've never been perfect if i'm perfect i'll not even be on earth right now Nobody's perfect. I'll be Hannah Montana saying it. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I mess it. Yes, so I've never been perfect. So I think that's obvious. But I had to make this list in. Yes. So this is the end of the video. I, I'm still saying it. If, if you've not subscribed, subscribe and share and tell people to watch the video. It may not have been as hilarious as you expected it to be, but I'm trying. And also, I, I just don't have the editing skill. Ed editing is hard. Ed editing is not easy. It's it's it's, it's difficult. But we're doing this okay. Uh, oh, if you notice today, I'm, I'm standing up in the video, yes, because I like change the vibe. You know, I have like so much energy to offer when I'm standing up. So, yes, yes, you'll probably see this again. So yes guys, this is it for this video and until next time guys, see y'all!